Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make variables in Python. Now, in Python, unlike more low-level programming languages such as Java or C or C Sharp or anything like that, all variables in Python are variables and their type is not ever declared but is just kind of acquired from whatever value you give it. In Java you would say something like string variable name equals hello but in Python you can set any value to any variable and the variables value can change or the variables type can change depending on what value you give it. So let's just make a simple two simple variables a and b and we'll have them equal to 12 and 24. So a b equals 12 comma 24. Now what did I just do? Well if you do a is equal to 12 you set a equal to 12 and we can test that by saying a. If we do b is equal to 24 we set b equal to 24. We can test that by typing b because it returns the value. Now if we do a comma b is equal to 12 comma 24 we can test a and b or a comma b and see that each one is the right value that we set it to. Now if we were to do something like say um, a times b or a plus b we get the number returned to us and we can also set that equal to c a plus b. That's pretty much how you would assign, create, and use uh, integer variables. Now variables like I said can contain any type of value um, as long as you've assigned the variable at some point. So if we try to say x or z we'll get some error that says this is not defined um, move this up so you guys can see name error name z is not defined so we can't call a value from something that doesn't exist that that makes perfect sense now since c is equal to 36 what if we try to assign c to equal hello well it works fine there's no problem there at all and that's something unique with uh, scripting languages and Python you can change the type of a variable, you can redeclare it, you can even delete a variable. You can make it so the variable is no longer accessible, it's not defined. And to do this you would just type del, d-e-l, c, or the variable name, and now that variable no longer exists. Now once we get into the math functions we'll go over in more depth what a floating point or double variable is, but for right now I'm just going to show you that if we said c is equal to 12.1, it's a uh, double or floating point variable. Um, if you want to get the type of a variable, such as c, what you would do is type the word type, t-y-p-e, left parenthesis, the variable or object, right parenthesis, enter, and it will tell you that it is of the class float. We can do the same thing with um, a and if we assign b to equal hello we can see that b is now a string str um, there's other types of variables and um, if you create your own classes which we will go over later on because that's one of the most like amazing things you can do with python instead of uh, having like class string we could make a class called unicorns and a class called zombies and make an object of that class and then put use the type um, function on it and it would return class uh, zombie or class unicorn and then we could even make some sort of function that had the unicorns and zombies battle to the death and we could call it uh, unicorns versus zombies which is just awesome um, also a book apparently and that's pretty much the basics of variables 
Um, something else that I could cover uh, that I just actually thought of is what happens if you try to add variables of different types. So all three of these variables are different. What would happen if we did A plus B plus C? You get this error that says unsupported operands for plus integer and string. You cannot add um, an integer to a string and you cannot add a string to an integer. Um, there are ways of doing it and um, oops, my bad. we'll go over those later but for now uh, just know that you can't really directly add these together um, later on we'll find that there are functions um, that will allow you to concatenate or cat them together and we'll kinda go over that also something notable what happens if you do multiply instead of getting an error we actually get something from we get a result from it um, b times a is hello printed twelve times we went over in the last video that backslash n is the new line character and we'll move the next part down to a new line so if we set b equal to hello backslash n well now if we do b times a we get oh my bad now if we print out <laughs> b times a because print is the function that actually evaluates backslash n we get hello printed on new lines twelve times um, there's really no purpose to saying hello twelve times because people will get annoyed after you say it like more than once probably but you can do it and once we get into like sockets and stuff we can even like send people messages that say hello repeatedly and annoy them because that's what programming's for guys it's for making it easier to annoy people it's not here to make human lives easier it's to make it easier for you as a human to make other people's lives harder and have fun doing it thank you guys for watching if you would like if you liked this video please press the like button if you really want to help out press the favorite or share buttons because those always help um, greatly with getting more people into our audience and if you want to see future videos please press the subscribe button if you would like to donate to my cause I have a Bitcoin address in the description below which you may uh, donate whatever you want to it and yada 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 the ending of this is always awkward I'll see you guys later thanks for watching